So hi, you made it. I'm so excited. <laughs> so um, we have Venus moving into Taurus and I'm very excited. Uh, so today's the 13th of April, the 14th tomorrow, Venus will start moving her way into Taurus. And um, these are already very, very auspicious days. These are probably, I would say the two best days of this year of 2021. Um, for those of you celebrating Ramadan, I hope you are having a great day. Um, you know, for the rest of us who want to start something new, who want to start something um, that has, you know, longevity, uh, something that is not just going to make us happy now, but is really just going to expand and be fulfilling in the long term, then these two days, 13th and 14th, I mean, these are the days to do it. As Venus and Taurus, Venus will be moving Taurus on the 14th. And so some of my manifestations, I'm going to begin them tomorrow. So I'm doing some today and then others tomorrow because I want to work with the Venus and Taurus energy. I've just noticed throughout the years that when these planets, especially depending on what chart or what house in my chart they're transiting, when I work with that, it's like it the universe and god just like gives me an extra push it, it's crazy it just it all works out so you really want to work with them and so the venus and taurus um especially for things uh relating to money and finances i think tomorrow the 14th would be the best day for that um on the 13th you can still do stuff you can still you know i'm still starting this new channel you can definitely use today but uh you know tomorrow the you know venus and taurus energy which we're going to talk all about that uh, you know, it's gonna definitely give you that boost that you need. So things are about to get very, I would say, luxurious. Um, you're gonna notice that uh, you're gonna be taking your time with a lot of things because Taurus, okay, they are a slow moving sign just to begin with. <laughs> and so Venus in Taurus, um, she's the type that would get her food, okay? Like an amazing food, okay? Just like think of like, you binging like on a cheat day, okay? So for me, it would be like Chick-fil-A, okay? I want that cheese over a chicken sandwich with that buttery bread. I want a brownie as well. I want the Coke. I want the waffle fries. I want Polynesian and Chick-fil-A sauce, okay? Think about getting that nice, hot, and ready. And you could very well just eat it right there, okay? You could go in the drive through you could eat in your car, or you could go inside and sit down, but Venus and Taurus, no, she, everything has to be perfect, okay? Venus and Taurus, she probably takes the food back home or she has it delivered to her door, you know? And she, she can't just like, you know, eat it standing while she's talking to other people and running all around, like, no. Like, she has to sit down. Maybe she's even lounging in the bed or she's lounging in her favorite chair, okay? And the temperature is just right. If she needs a blanket, she's got, you know, the softest blanket, maybe one of those weighted blankets, okay? Her favorite show is on, or maybe there's some music playing. But, you know, she's just in her element, okay? She is in her castle, which is probably at home. Um, you know, and this is Taurus. Like, right now, I'm, I'm describing all of Taurus, but we have Venus in Taurus, which Venus rules Taurus. And so this is kind of what I want you to think about, okay? Maybe for you, your food is um, much more healthy. Hopefully it is, and it's not Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but um, I'm just, when you go to indulge, like, what do you indulge in? But it, it can't just be... Venus in Taurus isn't just happy having her favorite food. It, it has to be in her favorite setting where she feels comfortable, where she feels safe, where she thrives. Um, it has to smell good, okay? So some desserts, I love to cook, but some of my desserts, especially if it's like a, you know, a cobbler, well, it looks kind of good. You know, cobbler kind of loses its shape. As soon as you put it on the plate, like it looks best in the dish. When you put it on the plate, you know, <laughs> it kind of spreads out. <laughs> uh, the ice cream starts to melt, you know. Uh, Venus and Taurus, it can't just taste good. Even if this is the most delicious recipe that's been passed down through your family, it has to also look good. It has to photograph good. It has to smell good, okay? This is not just, um, you know, some dishes you'll cook and they'll smell good and then you'll get to eat it. It's just like, where's the flavor? So it's like, all of these bases have to be covered. Venus and Taurus is very methodical and it's just, it's enjoying the best of whatever the best is to you, but this is most likely going to be of highest quality to you, um, something that you really, really value. So, you know, the energy is going to be romantic and nurturing. I'm seeing a lot of people saying that, um, you know, 
love obviously is going to be highlighted but it's not going to be the same as Venus and Aries where she's all about the thrill the chase the adventure um, Venus being in Taurus while you will be feeling maybe more sexy we feel better we seem to attract so however you're feeling however you view yourself other people are going to see that too so while you might notice you're attracting other people, I really don't see you giving them the time of day just to be text buddies or just to take you out just because you feel like going out. Venus and Taurus, she's very selective with her partners, you know? Like, it's probably not just a guy, especially, okay, when I say partners, I'm gonna be talking about like people that she's going to be dating, taking seriously, people who might be potential long-term, you know, romantic partners um you know he can't just be amazing in the bedroom he also has to you know be stable have a stable job um he also has to take care of himself okay it can't just be she closes her eyes and they turn off the lights like no even when the lights are on he looks damn good like as you see you know venus and taurus it, it can because you know taurus and virgo and capricorn virgo and capricorn are pretty picky um and don't let taurus fool you when you hear about them being sensual and romantic and lovey-dovey they're not just like that for anyone i'm i'm sorry you you have to be pretty freaking high up there in their eyes for them to even give you really the time of day and because it is a fixed sign this i think it being a fixed sign is kind of what ex accentuates I don't want to say their stubbornness, but being a fixed sign, um, you know, you lock on to your object of your affection, whether that mean you're locking on to, um, you know, getting that supervisor position in your job, or you are locked on to finally becoming fluent in that in that language not just something to where you have to like translate it over to your mother tongue but something where you just look at the word and you understand it like they lock on and they get what they want <laughs> um, and so um, you know this isn't just a whirlwind romance type of energy this is you're going to turn me on so much I'm going to be so excited to want you that this will most likely be something long term or I'm not even going to waste my time so while the energy might feel kind of flirty, it is flirty with an undertone of, I would say, almost monogamy because Taurus doesn't freaking share. They don't share anything. <laughs> so, um, you know, this is good for starting something that you want to last long term and that, you know, you're going to still find the value in it long after Venus is no longer in Taurus because Venus, when it transits, it transits for about a month. So starting tomorrow, I would give it 20 to 30 days until we go into our next sign. And of course, we're going to have different aspects, like we're going to have some aspects with Jupiter. We're going to have some aspects of Saturn and Uranus in just a week. We'll talk about that as the time comes. But, um, it's going to be very, very interesting. <laughs> so because Taurus is such a grounded sign, it is a fixed sign and it's very stable, um, you know, you're, you're going to be looking for something that, you know, not only ticks all of your boxes, but also something that you can take your time with. Nothing's going to be rushed. Nothing's just going to be, Ugh, I love this cake so much. I'm just gonna stand up right here and eat it like no You're gonna be sitting down somewhere. You're gonna be getting nice and comfortable and you're gonna be savoring every single bite <laughs> So um, I think this is a really really great time for those financial pursuits because don't forget Venus rules money. Okay, you do not get pleasure You do not get to feel like a queen and the luxury without the money. Um, you know, you have to have the funds um, to keep up this lifestyle <laughs> of enjoying all of your favorite things of your uh, organic essential oil bath bombs you know of those beautiful flowers that you always keep in vases all over your home you know venus is uh, especially in taurus you know she's all about stability uh financial stability and so if you do see yourself um you know accepting i don't want to say accepting money but if you see yourself attracting more money um just know a lot of these ventures these might be things that you can continue to go to over and over and over and over and over again, um, especially if you're starting something new. It's going to come easier right now, but it's also going to be set up in the long term. And so if right now, let's say you start something, someone calls you out of the blue, you know, to help watch their child, it probably won't just be a one-time thing of you babysitting, you know, this might be an extra form of income for you. And, um, you know, one that you, maybe they'll need you every Friday for their date night, you know, or maybe every Wednesday when they're at their church service, like, 
this is this is really really good because we forget we always get caught up in like the love and the relationships and something of quality starting with venus um because you know venus is beautiful and all that great stuff but we forget that it is a very um materialistic type um planet and so for materials you know the finances and money coming in and flowing in so over the next i would say 20 to 30 days you're definitely going to find times when things are just coming to you so easily especially in the realm of finance and then there will be other times where it might feel a little bit restricted but i mean i just feel like now is just the time now, now is the time if you're trying to get into something if you're trying to i want to learn how to trade stocks i mean really now is the time this is a perfect time and also not only would you have more luck in it while venus oh my gosh especially when venus becomes an evening star okay venus has been a morning star for a very long time now and on the 20th well after the 20th so it could be the 20th it could be three to four days after the 20th we will see we'll talk about this in a different video but um, when that happens we're going to be bringing in blessings like oh my gosh Th these transits are, are so exciting so if you're not excited now, just know we have some really amazing things coming up um, with Venus in particular. So these are some cards that I did not pull today, but I, I just, I kept them on my desk and I felt like sharing with you guys because they just, I don't know, th they resonate so much. I just feel like they are such a vibe. So we have this beautiful card, expect a miracle. And it says, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. I mean, if this isn't high five, I don't know what is. <laughs> then we have the nine of pentacles. Now, traditionally, the nine of pentacles is actually, um, you know, ruled by Virgo, which, well, ruled by Virgo. Well, it, it is a Virgo card, but um, uh, I guess you could say it's ruled by Mercury. But um, for right now, I mean, just the underlying vibes of the card is why I'm sharing it with you guys, even though I did not pull it today. I pulled it a couple days ago. Um, I just this is i feel like this is how you're going to be feeling <laughs> so nine of pentacles first off if you look at the card right since we're going to be learning a little bit um you can see that she is like on an estate okay she's on her own private estate because she she is alone all right and she is dressed in her best finest silk luxury robe okay she has a very dark bird on her hand and look at all of like just the foliage in the background look at the fruit when you pull this card, not only is this a card of financial security, but this is a card of independence, of making your own, of having your own, of enjoying your abundance. Now, since this is a nine of pentacles, um, for some people, this is this is very, very close in your future. So you are like right around the bend of having this, this just type of, I've made it, of the success of just lounging in the rewards that you've worked so hard in okay because nine is it's very very close to the end of completion to the end of the cycle which would be a 10 card like the 10 of cups or something but um it's like you are almost there and you are so close it's just like this isn't a do card this is more of a you will be enjoying right you have money in the bank this is your estate <laughs> you know you are already dressed in the finest you are surrounded by you know beautiful exotic birds animals you know whatever you want to be surrounded by um you know but this is a card of achievement and so when you pull this card it is talking about the type of achievement and luxury that comes with financial gain the finest things that can be bought okay so it is kind of a materialistic card um not that there's anything wrong with that it's not quite like our ten of pentacles where you have the entire family and the dog but um this is one of i, I would say um self-fulfillment oh and no one ever talks about this but this is a wish fulfilling card okay this is your dreams your desires as well so not just you working hard and toiling away, but um, of things that you wish, things that you want, which is amazing. Um, yellow is the theme of this card, if you can't tell. And um, for the chakras, we would relate this back to our third chakra, our solar plexus. And um, it's actually right under, I would say, I don't want to say in between the boobs, maybe right right beneath the boobs, right, right in the middle. So your solar plexus is all about your personal power not only that but it's really beautiful that it's about independence independence and also intelligence 
which, you know, to have, if you ever have that chakra out of balance, um, there are some meditations you can find for free on the internet that can help you get that back into balance. But um, it definitely is very important because when it is out of balance, um, we definitely feel insecure. We're not in our power. Um, you might be worried. Your self-esteem is low and you might be having feelings of like codependency that you need someone else. Um, so this, this is the solar plexus completely balanced. Um, completely in her prime and um, you know you definitely want that to be balanced to be able to enjoy all of this because there there is no one else here it's just her enjoying and living her best life alone she looks pretty freaking good to be alone <laughs> in this card I mean in this in on this beautiful estate so yeah so just keep in your mind this is of the Virgo decan um, and it is ruled by Mercury um, so we have that intelligence factor in this so these are the things that you've worked very hard for that you've used your wits and um you know that you've put in time for okay this is an earth sign earth signs are stable and they freaking put in the work to get stable that doesn't mean that they don't have times where things aren't going their way or that where maybe there isn't enough money in their bank but trust me as soon as they feel a little bit of insecurity about their finances they get on it and they stay fixed on it until they are successful and that's on earth energy <laughs> So uh, I hope you guys, you know, found this stuff helpful. Um, I'm going to do a pick a card reading next and um, hopefully I can get all of these uploaded today uh, just because I want to work with this amazing energy we're having. And yeah, I'll see you next time.